We've got a fantastic first fight for you. Up first is Daniel Pratt from Combat Company, and he's fighting Mustafa Albali. He's an independent fighter. This is a fantastic amateur fight. Uh, both guys are, are coming out swinging. Both guys looking to really make their mark. John, what do you think of this one? Yeah, debut fights for, for both guys. Mustafa actually has stepped in with two days' notice, so it'll be interesting to see just how well-conditioned he is. Uh, Daniel obviously knew this fight was coming up, but then he wasn't able to formulate any strategy. So, yeah, it could be an interesting one. Fantastic. Stay tuned. This is going to be a great fight. Daniel Pratt versus Mustafa al Bali. Oh, both guys throwing hard. Mustafa looks really excited for this one. They're both smiling at one another as well. Oh, both guys falling really hard here. They've clinched. He's got double underhooks. Daniel's got double underhooks pressing him up against the cage. It's a bit furious right now, but you would expect that from two debut fighters in their amateur competitions. Mustafa's trying to underhook here with his right arm. He needs to get that arm under. No, it looks like he's going for a guillotine. He's taking the guillotine. He is a strong. He has done powerlifting before. He has got very strong arms. Daniel passes nicely. He wants to pass to the other side, though. Mustafa's trying for an arm in guillotine. He could end up burning his arms out if he tries too hard here. Daniel looks like he knows what he's doing in this position. He wants to use this hold and get to his knees, working his way up the cage and get to his feet. Daniel's probably going to sit there quite patiently and let Mustafa's arms burn out. He's still trying for that inner arm in guillotine. Yeah, probably he's going to struggle from the side position. He's pressed up against the cage now, John. So uh, it's going to be very, very hard for him to finish it. He needs to get his right leg, if he wants to try and finish it, underneath the body of Daniel. He's grabbing the cage. I think the referee, yeah, the referee stopped that. Yeah, the referee's going to have to stop that. He's grabbed the third cage twice now. Oh, headshots are not allowed in amateur competition. On, on a grounded opponent. On a grounded opponent, that's right. I think so. he needs three points of contact. That's three illegal fouls he's made. I'm not sure if they're going to want to take a point away or not. They, Hayden hadn't done that yet. He is a good referee. He did take the fight on two days' notice, so. It, oh, they're throwing big hands now, they're throwing big hands! They're both smiling at each other, they're having a great time. <laughs> It's not a lot of technical nature to these oh, I fight, told you, I told you before this fight, John, these guys are going to throw big hands. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Daniel came over the top there with a good right hand. He caught him with him. Yeah, he caught him. With, it must have had definitely a hard chin. Yeah, he's, he's holding his hands quite quite low as well. He's getting caught with with some punches over the top. First kick of the contest, well landed to the inside leg of Mustafa. I like the way Mustafa keeps smiling at Daniel, it's kind of like a sick smile, I quite like it. It's often the result of actually being hurt. <laughs> yeah. When Mustafa's... He's taking some big shots, oh and Mustafa's caught Daniel! He's up against the cage now. He's let him off. It looked like Daniel could have been hurt there. He looked like to me, oh, he should be trying to go for the finish. I don't know, he's, he might be tired though. He's, remember, he's taking the day, he's, he's taking this fight on two days' notice. Being quite patient. Daniel's having some success with the low kicks. His hands are coming down. Every time he gets nearer to Mustafa, he's dropping his hands. Mustafa keeps trying to land that straight right down the pipes every time Daniel throws that kick. Again, both fighters with their hands quite low. This is the difference at amateur level. Their condition isn't quite as it is for semi-professional professional contests. Oh, they're throwing big hands. Big right hand by Daniel. Swinging wildly. Oh, he kicked the knee there with his foot. That might have hurt his foot. More swing than a tennis match, this one. <laughs> yeah. And that's the end of the first round.
yeah, but every time you throw a, a leg kick, you are susceptible to a, a counter right hand over the top, which is he's just taken two of. Musta really trying to land that big right hand. He's throwing those from, from the changing room, I think. <laughs> and both guys are enjoying themselves. Yeah, they both seem very relaxed for a debut fight. That could be confidence, or they just both love to fight, which seems to be the case. Well, Daniel did warn me that he was a bit of a brawler, and uh, he's certainly not disappointed. Yeah, it feels always that's a big shot. Daniel's starting to catch him now. Mustafa's hands are starting to look a little sluggish here. Well, they were on his hips a second ago. Yeah, I think Daniel's having more success right now. He's starting to perhaps show some head movement. He's really working that leg kick. Mustafa's got to be got to be careful when he runs in like that with his hands so low. I'm surprised that both feet is still standing. Mustafa really wants to lift up his leg and check those leg kicks or they're gonna he's gonna have a big time he's gonna have big trouble walking tomorrow. That's better. Daniel's straightening up some of his punches. Leading with a jab. Mustafa is, is really tired. Daniel really needs to put the pressure on. The crowd are urging him on. Mustafa's not out yet though, he's hit him, he's caught him! Right I think that's Mustafa's only chance. I don't think Daniel should really get involved in that game. Nah, if I was Daniel, I'd stick and move, I'd land that leg kick. Perhaps, maybe take him down. Mustafa looking really on the ground, get the measure of him. Sitting near Daniel's corner, they're asking for a 1 2 and a takedown. They've clinched here. Daniel. Uh, he's ended up in the scramble. He's I'm on his sure back. If he, I think he might have tried to pull guard there, John. Well, he's in half guard now, Mustafa. He's trying to pass what for Mustafa the mount. What Mustafa can do with his right arm if he can trap that oh, arm? I can see a big welt on Mustafa's leg from, from some of those low kicks. Oh, yeah, that's really bruised up. I can see. Daniel's almost giving him the, the mount position. He's taken mount. Remember, there is no headshots to a downed opponent, so if he wants to finish, he will have to go for the submission, or unless he lands a lethal body shot. Which is very, very rare. It's also quite difficult when they're both pressed against the cage. Right? There's not a lot of movement for an attack on either one of those arms at, in an amateur contest. Daniel seems to be giving, throwing his arms up there. I'm not sure how hard Mustafa's trained on his ground game. But he looks like that was it. he was turning for an armbar. But he went for the wrong arm because he was only ever going to walk into the cage. I think he's going to take, he's going to take Daniel's left arm. Daniel's left arm is there. Daniel's not doing anything to defend that. If he underhooks his head with his left arm, he could get an, a head and arm choke or an uh, arm triangle. So Mustafa was working towards either a key lock or a Camaro, I can't quite see. He looks like he's going for an Americana. He's let it go. Daniel needs to work. He's, yeah, if he stays he's flat on his back at the moment. He needs to escape his hips and, and try and get half guard or, or possibly his guard back. It's only two rounds. Ten seconds, clap is gone. So I'm, not, I'm not sure that's going to be very effective. It's all over. That was a very, very entertaining fight. Both smiling again. Great way to start the show. Very entertaining, both guys. Good way to start your career with a good, tough match as well. Yeah, that's a lot of experience. I mean, eight, eight minutes in a cage is a lot of experience. Ladies and gentlemen, after two rounds of mixed martial arts action, all three judges score this bout 19-19. Your result is a draw. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. What a what an outstanding fight, uh, Daniel Pratt, and Mustafa Abali. They went to draw. That was brilliant. It was back and forth for the entire fight. Um, th that was really exciting for me. It was, yeah. I mean, technically not brilliant, but then we can't expect that from these guys who haven't been training for very long. But they both fought with a big smile across their faces the whole way through. Good sportsmanship. 
and they both know they've been in a fight. So, so good luck to, and well done to both guys. Yeah, fantastic. So Uxnap, up next we've got Rob Willis from Team Crossface, and he's facing Matt Ward from Bullring MMA. Should be a really, really good one. Thank you. 